as many of you know, um, I've been posting a lot of videos on the forehand. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the back end for a while, double back end, all the different grips, um, the swings, a couple of good tips every day. So get ready for some back end improvement. Also gonna give you single back end tips. I have this beautiful lady that you just saw. She's gonna feed me some balls so I can uh, show you guys the best way possible to hit it instead of just feeding out of the hand. Okay guys, the first mistake, I'm gonna give you the mistake and the solution, all right? The first mistake is grips, all right? First mistake players make on the, on the backhand grip, right? So they don't realize, but their left hand is, uh, it's like a, it's like a semi-western left-handed forehand grip, all right, which is bevel, like bevel five. You want, it, you want it like Djokovic straight behind the grip, right? Because now if your hand is behind, you can hit the ball and you can get power out of your palm and your palm can control the ball. I'll show you the wrong one and then I'll show you the difference when it's right. So the wrong one is when I'm too far over, all right? You're gonna be very weak and you'll see my swing pattern will also be wrong. My left hand is way over, all right? Which is gonna cause me to, to really be limited. So even if I lift the ball, there's nothing on it because I can't, I can't really go through the ball, right? It's a big problem. And then what players also do is they end up, because of that grip, they end up pulling because they feel like they have to to get over it, all right? So now I'm going to put my hand behind the racket, like an Eastern left-handed backhand grip or bevel, bevel six all the way around, okay? But just to, to remember, remember Eastern. And now you just hold the right hand Boom, you're gonna be able to hit a lot more through the ball. And that's when you get the Djokovic look. This is one of the big reasons why Djokovic got such a solid back. And sorry, that one was out. Out again. There we go. Give you one more. Oh! All right. So I hope you guys can notice my footwork. I'm not gonna to touch on the footwork today, but see if you can spot how I'm moving because it's very important. Okay, mistake number two. Moving on to the right hand, all right? Again, you weaken your grip when your right hand is like an eastern forehand grip. What happens now is, if you look at my wrist, it's, it's, it's moving too much, right? Okay? Which means you're gonna slap the ball, you're not gonna be able to stay over the ball, and that ball can do anything. Your hand should be on continental always, your right hand. For a double-handed backhand, always continental. Bevel number two, let me show you the wrong one, and then I'll show you the difference on the right one. Okay guys, also remember I've got so many videos, I like to give only two, three uh, tips per video, but always on the video there should be one or two tips that's gonna change your backhand for the better. And then you can dig into my channel and see the overall backhand, everything, because remember as a player, you can't have you can't use everything all at once. You got to put them in your toolbox. See what works for you. All right. Okay. So now I've got an east hand, right hand, and it's very weak. It's either, either going to go long, all right, or it's going to be very slappy. If you get it in, sometimes it's risky. But you can also see my strings when I turn. It's open now. Too much open. All right. Let me fix it for you guys. Left hand is still what I told you. Now right hand going to continental. You can see it's a lot more stable. I can hit through the ball. Oh, that was a hard one there. Ah, beautiful lady, nice. And it's a little bit deep there, girl, but I'll make it work. Oh. And I'll take it. All right, and I want you to notice without me trying to change my swing pattern. This is amazing, I always tell my players. By just fixing your grip, Oftentimes, by having the correct grip will fix the whole swing. The grip is such a big important base to have sorted out. And then now, last one, tip number three. A lot of players, because you're right-handed, and the same goes for left-handed players, but because you're right-handed, your right hand is dominant, your right hand is strong, which means a lot of times your right hand pulls too much, okay? So they hit, it feels fine, but they never pay attention to the left elbow. Okay, if you want to swing a little bit more through the ball, have more on the ball, get more depth, spin, power, you have to pay attention to your left elbow has to lift on the finish, all right? 
players think that they're finishing high enough because the racket goes up because they're right hand dominant but they forget about the elbow let me show you the difference left elbow i get away with it okay but it's so limited all right you see that i'll show you again okay now i'm going to do everything the same but i'm just going to focus on my left elbow going up look at the difference wow that's a high feet notice how by lifting my left elbow i'm also swinging more through the ball that simple tip gives you more momentum through the ball now your hands are correct so which means you're hitting more through the ball with the hands plus the elbow you're in business I hope you enjoyed that subscribe to my channel don't forget i have a course that you can subscribe to and uh, it's lifetime access and i help you through your whole game of tennis and uh, also link to my ebook in the description love you guys see you soon